Chapter 1 The Magic of Colors In a vibrant little town, there lived a girl named Lily. She loved art and all the beautiful colors that filled her world. Lily had a special canvas where she loved to draw and express herself. Every day after school, she would spend hours exploring different colors and creating lively masterpieces. One afternoon, as Lily was sitting in her room, a burst of magic filled the air. Surprised, she looked around and saw a captivating swirl of colors dancing before her eyes. She blinked, not believing what she was seeing. Was it possible that the colors from her paintings had come to life? Filled with curiosity and excitement, Lily bravely reached out her hand and touched the magical swirl. Instantly, she was transported to a whole new world. It was a world where the colors were alive and had their own personalities. She met Red, a passionate and fiery color who loved to express emotions. Blue, a calm and peaceful color, enjoyed creating soothing art. Yellow, a cheerful and bright color, could make anyone smile just by being around. And green, a vibrant and refreshing color, loved to bring life to the world with nature. Lily was amazed by this magical world of colors. Everywhere she looked, there were stunning landscapes full of lush green forests, sparkling blue oceans, and breathtaking sunsets painted in warm reds and purples. It was like walking through a living canvas. As she explored this beautiful world, Lily discovered that her drawings had a special power. When she drew something using the magic colors, it would come to life. She could create flowers that bloomed, animals that pranced around, and even rainbows that stretched across the sky. It was a truly enchanting experience. One day, while strolling through a meadow painted with the most joyful shades of yellow, Lily came across a sad little girl. The girl's world was dull and gray, devoid of any colors. Lily knew she had to help. With her magical colors, she painted a vivid rainbow that magically appeared above them. The sad girl's face lit up with delight as she gazed at the colorful arc in the sky. For the first time, she saw the world in all its beauty and vibrancy. From that moment on, Lily realized that her gift was not just about creating art, it was about spreading joy and happiness to others. Lily continued to explore the magical world of colors, sharing her special gift wherever she went. Her lively and captivating art brought happiness to many people, filling their lives with color and hope. And so, Lily spent her days embracing the magic of colors, using her talent to create a world more beautiful than anyone could have ever imagined. And as she painted with love and passion, she knew that the true magic was not in the colors themselves, but in the joy they brought to those who beheld them. Question, what makes colors so special? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 2, Discovering Different Colors Chapter 2, Discovering Different Colors One sunny day, Emma and her dog, Max, decided to go on an adventure. They wanted to explore the vibrant world of colors. Emma grabbed her paintbrushes and a blank canvas, ready to discover the countless shades that awaited them. As Emma and Max walked through the park, they noticed how beautiful nature was. The grass was a vibrant green, and the flowers displayed a rainbow of colors. Emma spotted a red rose, a blue forget-me-not, and a yellow daisy. She pointed at each one excitedly, telling Max the name of each color. They continued their journey, and soon arrived at their favorite art store. The store was filled with shelves containing different colored paints. Emma's eyes sparkled with joy as she discovered all the shades. There were so many reds to choose from, cherry red, strawberry red, and even fire engine red. Max wagged his tail happily, getting equally excited about the colorful adventure. Emma picked up a tube of blue paint and exclaimed, Look, Max, this is the color of the sky on a clear day. Max barked in agreement, wagging his tail even faster. Emma continued to explore and found a tube of yellow paint, saying, 
yellow is the color of the sun and makes everything feel warm and happy. With their art supplies in hand, Emma and Max returned home. Emma placed her canvas on an easel and squeezed out some red, blue, and yellow paint onto her palette. Excitement filled the room as she dipped her brush into the first color. Emma started painting a big red heart with blue waves surrounding it. The yellow paint added a bright sun smiling down on the picture. As she painted, she realized that by mixing the primary colors she could create new ones. Emma dipped her brush into the red and blue paints, creating a beautiful shade of purple. By adding yellow to blue, she made a lovely shade of green. Time flew by as Emma experimented with mixing colors and painting different objects. She painted trees with green leaves and birds in the clear blue sky. Every stroke of her brush brought the canvas to life, creating a world full of vibrant colors. When Emma finished her painting, she stepped back to admire her masterpiece. The canvas was filled with reds, blues, and yellows, blending harmoniously. She felt proud of her creation and excited to keep exploring the wonderful world of colors. As the sun began to set, Emma and Max cuddled up on the couch, feeling inspired by the day's adventures. Emma realized that colors were everywhere in nature, in art stores, and even in her own imagination. With her paintbrush in hand, she knew that the possibilities of discovering different colors were endless. Question how many different colors are there? Check the video description for the answer.